beginnings of fairy tales. Uh, by interesting pictures and placing text together, you can use stories to teach learners of all levels, uh, depending on which story you choose. This is also information from Karen Saxby, the author of uh, fun series for Cambridge English exams and particularly for story fun, which we're going to use today in our activities. Um, and here is abstract from story fun. Um, what is important to uh, uh, to keep the text um, uh, to keep the story and to keep the picture um, according to the level, and they should also report to each other uh, with each other. They have to find it and then origin, oranges next to the cat in our kitchen. Um, this is just a, a small abstract for your students from the book. You can, you can go further. You can talk about the mouth here, uh, the candle, if we know this word, yes, about uh, the bird and where is the hat. It is on the floor. Uh, and you can ask them different questions like we did with the king and the dragon. Now, and we have, uh, which is, uh, what is also important to keep it fun and <clears throat> story fun is really great with this. Like my grandma's sleeping in the bus again. And you see, oh, where is the grandma? She, we can see her hat and, uh, and again, this mouth, yeah, kids really like that. And um, you can provide them with <coughs> different pictures, uh, not only from the books. You can bring pictures from wherever. And uh, you can also use, which I actually did, but with a little bit um, older students, uh, quest, uh, quest games. Uh, even there are apps, like there is a rule and they need to find something. And they really love those quest games. Uh, and th this is this is a game, so it is fun. Um, okay, this is the end of the story, funny pictures, and we will try to move on. I will try to show you everything that I have. So stories make language so uh, memorable because First of all, they um, occupy the space between reality and imagined reality. Uh, so it is somewhere um, between uh, critical and creative thinking and involves all the parts of the brain, as we saw. Um, enable us to engage with an interest um, of our own choosing. Uh, we can create those stories, we predict those stories, this is why we, we, we have a choice. And the choice is really important, as I told you before, um, when we were talking about teaching grammar to young learners, they still need to have a choice all the time. Um, attach us to specific characters and we emotionally get engaged. Uh, okay. Uh, we emotionally get, get engaged and we experience something and we share the values from the stories. Um, the stories encourage us to react emotionally, which has a huge impact uh, on memory. Uh, they cause us to subconsciously judge behavior and learn about social norms, um, force us to see our imagination to complement the text and transport us into alternative scenarios. Um, okay, we have problems with the sound again. Uh, the connection is fine. Well, no problem. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, and let's move on. 
it um, stories motivate learners to discuss and complete fun activities. So, <clears throat> we are coming back to the king and the dragon. And now there is another example uh, to work with this uh, to work with this story. Uh, this is gap filling, and I'm going to tell you the story. But there are some words missing. Your task is well for kids. They will have to shout out those words for you. Please type them. So, the dragon lives in a big. Tree, yeah, forest, good. Forest, tree, cave. Ooh, <laughs> kids, pre A1, I think, don't know the word, but tree is great. Okay, thank you. So, dragon leaves in a big tree. Today, he's sad because he can't read. He hasn't got any books right here. I've got a tree, and here is my helping dragon. Can you see him? This is Trevor, <laughs> the dragon. So <clears throat> he says, I've got a tree, I've got a bag, but I can't find a book. Right, again. I can jump, I can. Run, I can fly. Uh -huh. I can climb, but I cannot read. Here is a king. Okay, there is another, another here is a king. So can you see him? He's got a crown here. Okay, he's falling. Okay, here is the crown. <laughs> So, here is the king. Let's ask him how to drag him. But first, let's see what can, uh, what he can do and what has he got. Hello, I'm the king. And I can read. Right you are. I've got a book. And I also want to read, help, have a friend. Great. So you see so many ideas. I want to read you a story. Okay. I will take that crown away. Um, and here we go, the dragon. Okay, King. Sit under my tree. That's right. And I sit where? on the tree. Yes. Uh, read me the story. Okay. There is a dragon and a king in the story. And we move. Okay, thank you, King. Your story is very last word. Good, interesting, funny, super great. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's be friends. And you can go on with these talks. So <clears throat> using topics really works good. And if you add dialects to your story, they become alive. Uh, so, <clears throat> gap filling reading is uh, is nice when you have some specific vocabulary, and you can you can use different characters, but uh, you can create a story about anything. If they they could have, for example, bags like uh, I've got a bag, but I haven't got, and you can um, create the story about, or I can jump, but I cannot play tennis and whatever. They can create this story on their own and you you have to just choose which gaps you would like to uh, to fill in. Uh, open, you've seen it, and role plays. We will come to role plays in a few minutes. Uh, this is 
from a live booklet for story fun created uh, a few weeks ago and um, it's like, it's downloadable there are different activities we will try a few of these activities uh, today and um, there is another booklet for kids who have problems with reading who are dyslexic so uh, if you go to our website cambridge.org you can check these um, books if you are interested i will give you the link later on uh, and uh, if we are talking about story fun there is a great uh, example how to use this drama booklet uh, with the story you can apply these activities to different um, to different <coughs> books, to your stories which you create, to your textbooks. So we will talk about Kim's birthday. These are two pages from Kim's birthday um, story. And you can see it. It's my birthday today. Hooray, hooray. It's my mom and my dad. Uh, this is my brother, Dan. This is my sister. Her name's Jill. And grandpa's here too. My grandpa's name is Bill. I love to see. The text is really simple. Uh, and later on, they will sing songs. They will open the presents. They will uh, talk about these presents. And look what they like. There is a toy. There is a you understand that. Uh, there is a suggestion from this booklet uh, how you can start such a lesson. Stop start activity. This is a very fun and very simple two, three minutes activities, but there are instructions. So start and learners begin moving around the space. Stop, learners freeze on the spot. Change, learners change directions. Jump, learners jump up and down on the spot. Plus, you can model all those instructions. You can also use your friends to help you to, help you to move and then suddenly duck, yes, to show them what's done. Or you can show it yourself. Um, and these are the instructions. If you know that you, your students are um, too advanced for that, you can make it challenging and make them do the opposite. So, for example, um, I say jump, but you have to clap because you need to do what I do. Yes, jump, and they have to clap. You need they they need to do something or um, duck, and you um, instead of duck, you change. So to make it challenging, they have to think more. Simon says, somebody writes, no, Simon says will be different. This is not Simon says, this is a little bit, well, yeah, Simon says is the same. But once you, you name it in a different way, you can use it in, in a different way. The story says is very similar to Simon says activity. How to use it here? While students are still walking around, from this start, uh, go and clap, jump activity. Uh, still, their brains are activated because they think what's next to do. Uh, you can use some party-related vocabulary, and uh, they, they have to mind. The story says, eat the cake, and they eat the cake. The story says, open the present, blow the candles, blow the balloons, dance with your friends, uh, and <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, this is how you make a lead in into uh, into birthday party topic, and um, later, yeah, keep calm and do what Simon says. So th this is Simon says game, but you can apply it to this topic. Uh, the next one, after they uh, read the story, uh, for example. Uh, or you can do it before they read the story or during they are reading this story. Um, bring your imaginary box and say where it is. So I bring my box. This is imaginary box, yes, because this is drama activity. And I put it on the table. My box is on the table. 
yeah, um, then you need to ask your students to tell you where is their imaginary box. Uh, you can go wilder <laughs> and ask them to say, is it big? Is it small? Yeah, uh, how big is your box? And they can show. Um, is it heavy? Is it light? And they activate this vocabulary, heavy, light, big, small. And they will have to tell you, my box is in the corner of the classroom. My box is under the table. And they take it from there. And you ask them to uh, bring their imaginary boxes and put them all on the table. So you've got a circle of students. Uh, now you have to share the presence, and this is after reading. And here in the book, we've got um, we've got <clears throat> different dialects. Like this is the, the, uh, this cake is great. Now uh, this spider is nice. Whoa, how how beautiful! Yeah, so they have some responses uh, to that presence. You can ask kids to act out how they share presents. Uh, like, here is your present. And you really need to believe that there is a box. And once you believe, students will also believe that. And you give a present. This is, this is actually improvisation game. You give a present. Here is your present. And they have to say thank you or anything like that. So you keep them involved into the topic, but this is a lot of action. And what uh, your training is these chunks of the language of giving and receiving presents. Yes, they share their presence. Also, what can they do? Uh, they can describe uh, themselves as presents. For example, I'm red. I'm round, I'm small, I can jump, you can catch me. What am I? I'm a ball, right you are. So you can ask them to become each other's presence and to describe themselves. Uh, another thing <clears throat> with the same lesson, uh, you can ask them to learn the lines, um, but from from this story, um, uh, but they need to create movements uh, for for different situations. Uh, for example, um, say, thank you, mom and dad. Yeah, and they have to do some movement. Thank you, mom and dad, or thank you, mom and dad. Yeah, they have this movement, and uh, the task is to uh, uh, to play the same story sets, but instead of start or instead of change, they need to say this line like thank you, and everybody should do this movement. Um, Um, uh, okay, so can you hear me? Can you still hear? Yes, okay, great. Uh, so <clears throat> they play the same like Simon says, but not you are leading as the teacher. Uh, students can lead one by one, and their task is uh, to say the lines from this story and do the movements which they created on their own, which becomes much more valuable for them. Uh, pass it on. There is another thing they can um, uh, they can um, when they heard the story, they can think about emotions that each line should have. Like, thank you, or it's my birthday, hooray, hooray. And they have to pass on the emotion, but not only to pass it on and make it come back, but to exaggerate the emotion. This is a very simple drama activity. Uh, pass, um, exaggerate the emotion. So you can start with 
thank you. And then they go, go on with the movement, and the last one can be thank you, yes, the biggest thankfulness uh, at all. Uh, and other ideas. You can tell the story from another point of view. You can add fun dialects. You can use speech bubbles, which they have to fill in. You have characters and ask them to, uh, to write there um, what these characters say to each other. You can ask them to um, write secret messages that characters could uh, send to each other. Uh, you should use realia and maybe music for uh, stories. Uh, and you can use closed eyes guided visualizations. This is a very um, settling activity when everybody sits down, they close their eyes, and while you're reading, they imagine everything and they um, dive into this world of the story. Uh, and do you know what it is? A cork, right. So <clears throat> we all know where it uh, comes from. Yes, wine, that's great. I'm sure um, everybody here tried at least once wine, and maybe at home you have some wine forks. I actually collect them, and uh, my, <laughs> my last um, activity, creative activity, was wine fork characters. That's that are my new friends. Yeah, I was making characters out of wine. And you can really use them uh, for different stories. And then they are very easy to make. You just need paints and wine forks and uh, a knife. And that's it. Uh, that's really fun and it costs nothing. Well, if you drink wine, of course. Uh, and another thing I wanted to tell you, please hold on, um, because this is really nice thing. Cambridge Story Competition. Uh, the task is to get your students make up a story. There are uh, boxes for uh, writing and boxes for drawing. Uh, this this is a um, worksheet which they have to send, and you can download this worksheet from our Cambridge Org website. Um, all children aged 12 or younger can take part. You can win prizes for you and your students. Uh, improve your reading, writing, and critical thinking skills. Uh, stories make readers and writers happy and help them learn English. How to enter the story competition? Uh, if at the end, I will show you my contact details, ask me for a link, or visit our Facebook page. All the information will be there today or tomorrow. Uh, then you need to read teacher tips how to uh, make them write the story, download all the story board from the website, uh, complete the entry form, apply for uh, this competition, and you, if you win, your story, story of your students will be published in a book with the stories of students all over the, the world, and you will get some prizes, and you will definitely, like, goodie bags uh, for teachers um, and official certificate of participants, uh, both for teachers and kids. The competition closes at, on the uh, 30th of April, so apply, <laughs> and it will be great. Um, and uh, I will send you the link not uh, not uh, to your uh, email, which you write here. You write me, and I will send you the link. Um, a little word about pilot project. We have finished the uh, second step there, and um, you know this is the project uh, which is supported by Cambridge University Press, Cambridge Assessment English, the Ministry of Education and, um, and Science of Green and British Council. So <clears throat> um, for now, 
we still have 100 schools, over 200 teachers, uh, participants, over 5,000 students, um, different training events. And uh, uh, a week ago, we had training events for teachers. Um, the online course is finished now and all the teachers get their, got their certificates and all the materials are really great. This is Quick Minds. Uh, we provided our teacher with quick, our pilot teachers with Quick Minds and uh, the father of Quick Minds is Super Minds. Uh, there is also super grammar, new component for super minds. This is what it looks like inside. Also, kids box, new edition for uh, 2018 YLE exams. Uh, and finally, story fun. Here it is. Six levels with wonderful stories, wonderful pictures, which you can use for story making and for uh, story telling and reading. Um, it goes with a free home fund booklet and for, uh, now you can download uh, our drama from a live uh, booklet too. And uh, very soon there will be movers, uh, starters, movers and flyers writing skills. They are not available now, but later on they will be there. So don't miss um, and follow our uh, <clears throat> and will the fun website where you can also find wonderful activities for your young learners. Uh, and finally, where to find uh, this Come Alive drama booklet, cambridge.org, QA, Cambridge English. Go here, register and uh, find and download all the materials which you uh, which you wish. Uh, and like our Facebook page, here it is, Cambridge University Press Ukraine. You type it here, you give us a like, and we provide you with all the videos, all the uh, information about competitions that we can find. Uh, my contact details, please pay attention to this. This is my uh, email. So if you send me your email here, I'm able to, um, to write you anything. If you write to me, please do it uh, for more information and for all the links which I promised you. I will be waiting for this. Um, in order to get certificates, you will fill out the form, which you will get in a few minutes, I guess. So, uh, you don't have to write to me for that. Uh, and uh, our official distributor of Cambridge University Press in Ukraine is Linguist Company. So you can call here, write here if you need something, if you want to buy something. And thank you very much.